I think having one truck is too close to having none. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Time, yeah. Yeah. So, so for me, even though I have one truck, I have other strains of income as well. Okay. You know, and so um, not only not only is it beneficial for me to just lease on to a company, mm-hmm. it's beneficial for me to not have to worry about all the the back office. <laughs> to not have to worry about all the, the back office gotcha. stuff when it comes to having my own authority. And for some people, it's different. Yeah. And I have a story like kind of like yours okay. because I started, I always tell people that I started my business with a tax refund and a dream. All right. And I had about, um, I had about maybe $3,000. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly, but I had about three thousand dollars in the in the bank after I put my down payment down for the truck that I was getting. Mm. I put my down payment down, and the down payment was like thirty five hundred dollars. They took off five hundred dollars, so it would have been four thousand dollars, and they financed the rest of the thousand dollars. So it was a five thousand dollar mm. down payment, and so they were like, "Yo, since you're going to Landstar, we'll take five hundred dollars off, and then plus all you got to do is pay thirty five hundred dollars now. You'll get the truck, and you can go ahead and start." Store. I said, shoot, sign me up for the Christian Jubilee. I'm there. <laughs> okay. okay. And then I had another three thousand thirty five hundred dollars left, you know, after I did that, man, shoot, that hey, that was all I needed right there. And I said, man, if I could just get to the point to where I'm making money, I know I'll be good. But sometimes you'll get caught up and you'll start being like, Oh man, I'm going from making a thousand dollars a week. Now I see you checks for three thousand, four thousand dollars a week, sometimes five thousand dollars a week, you start seeing them tell you like, man, hey, we we finna go we finna go to Atlanta. <laughs> we finna go to the Braves game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we finna go on vacation. We finna because we've been struggling for so long. We finna go do something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so if you get caught up in that mentality that mm-hmm. don't save no money, guess what? You're gonna be up the creek without a power. Okay. So I had to learn that the hard way. Um and sometimes man you just gotta hold on to what you got until you can Get what you want, cause it's the, it's the it's the Lord and the it's the illusion mm-hmm. of people saying that they're millionaires and people saying that they're this. Well, I made this. that money last year, mm-hmm. you know, just because I made the money. How much money am I able to keep? Mm-hmm. Because I had to buy equipment. Exactly. I had even like with the trucks and stuff. I had to buy the fuel. I had to pay for insurance. Fuel is your biggest expense in trucking. Mm-hmm. And then don't forget about those breakdowns. Woo. Yes. You see what I'm saying? And yes. so it it so we're having all that money and then you're trying to you're trying to build a life over here and you're trying to set your business up to where it's correct and you're trying to make sure that everything is correct and you're going to these event networking events yeah. and stuff like that and you're paying premium price so that you can get in front of these people and that people and then to find out that these jokers ain't got nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that what they do have is great marketing. Exactly. <laughs> they have great marketing exactly. to show you that they did this or they or that they did that, but they really didn't do it. They did not, you know. So, yeah. Okay, so let's. Talk. I feel like I'm on a Kanye rant. Like. No, no, no. <laughs> you, 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 you.